regular positive people. It's Jay right here and welcome to today's vlog. You are probably watching this video because you want to know why this day is a special one for me. Yes, today is March 7 and I consider it as an answered prayer day because today marks the first year of myself traveling abroad. So let's start with this. Well, when I was young, my greatest goal in life is actually not to travel the world, but simply to just ride an airplane. Yes, that sounds funny, right? And I didn't want to be a pilot, but I just had that eager desire to ride an airplane. And you know, being a young ignorant boy, <laughs> I didn't care where the destination is. And whenever I thought of airplanes, it gave me pleasure and my hopes of being on the airplanes kept rising and rising and rising. And so, March 7th of last year, my dream finally came true. So in this vlog, I will share with you some of the unforgettable memories I collected and the places I've visited in my first year of traveling abroad. But before anything else, I just want to make it clear to you that when I say one year of traveling abroad, it doesn't mean that I am in a constant traveling, but it's about the first year since my dream came true. And so, without further ado, here it goes. My first abroad trip was in Macau. There, I lived in a house of my pastor that comes by the name Pastor Pedro for a month and a half. Going there from the Philippines was quite challenging for me because it was my first time. I was all alone. I had no idea about what to do when I got to the airport. No idea about the check-ins. No idea about going to the immigrations and all those stuffs. <laughs> but I nailed them all. <laughs> like what they say, we learn from the things we try for the very first time. From Clark Airport, I flew to Hong Kong to have like three hours layover. Then I took the turbojet ferry to Macau, where I first met my first ever travel buddy, and over time became my brother from a Portuguese mother. His name is Samuel. I remember while I was vlogging at the ferry terminal, he came to me and asked if I were a vlogger. <laughs> I said no, <laughs> and the conversation started and turned into a friendship. Just like me, it was also Samuel's first time to travel abroad. We took the ferry boat together. It was amazing because the people I was going to visit in Macau were the friends of the people Samuel were going to visit in Macau. Samuel and I lived in the same place but different blocks, and that is in Taipa. Almost every day, we hang out together and explored Macau. Over time, we felt like we were running out of places to visit in Macau, so we decided to go to Hong Kong. We went to some of the famous tourist spots, like, well, Disneyland is one of them, and the Central Park. They're very famous, of course. There were no dull moments with Samuel, he was awesome, and I can say that we made the most out of our stay in Macau and Hong Kong. I went back to the Philippines, and Samuel went back to Portugal April 17th last year. So hot. After Macau and Hong Kong, I took the trip to Singapore on the 20th to the 23rd of August, and Bali, Indonesia from the 23rd of August to the 5th of September. For Filipinos like me, Singapore is always in our travel bucket list. It is a visa-free country for us. There were so many awesome places to visit in Singapore, like the famous Merlion, Sentosa, Marina Bay Sand, and Universal Studios. I visited them all. <laughs> Four days weren't enough for me to visit all the good places there. After Singapore, I flew to Bali, Indonesia. Pretty much the main reason and the main purpose of my visit in Bali is to take photo and video coverage of my pastor's wedding ceremony. But a lot had happened. First, I made a Balinese girlfriend 
which is now an ex-girlfriend, yeah, sad to say. And second, tragically, I lost my passport there. I'm gonna make a separate vlogs about these two happening soon, so I hope you check them out too. But looking at the bright side, I was still blessed and I was still positive to visit the best places in Bali like the sacred monkey forest in Ubud, the sunset in Uluwatu, and the Kuta beach. Plus, I also got the chance to spend days in the island of Nusa Ponida where I visited Kaling King, Angels Billabong, Teletubbies Hills, Broken Beach, and Atu Beach. Well, these places are famous for all the tourists, vloggers, and Instagram users all over the world. Bawi, Indonesia is by far my favorite foreign country. People were so nice and you can actually easily make friends. I also love their food, one of which is the Babi Gulim. Now I think I said it properly because when I was in there and even up to right now, whenever I think of that food, I I keep saying Babi Gulim, Babi Gulim. I don't know, I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, that's I think Babi Gulim, and I'm, for, I'm, I'm sure with that. And just earlier this year, I took the trip and went back to Hong Kong and Macau for two weeks to visit and spend quality time together with my family and friends there. So I just loved it that in each countries I visited, I created lots of awesome memories that will stay forever in my heart. These vlogs I'm making are unlikely to be travel vlogs. <laughs> I know I'm not good at it, just like what my favorite travel vlogger does, which is Los Le Bank. He's my favorite one, he's the best. I know that in the future, I'll have the tendency to forget these travel memories. So these vlogs are more like a reminder to remind me of the places I've been to. And so to sum it all up, in the first year of my traveling life, I've visited four foreign countries and I'm hoping and I'm praying for more countries to visit for the rest of this year and for the years to come. Thank you for watching and just stay positive. See you in the next vlog. <laughs> oh, you're there. Oh, that looks so sweet. Hi. Oh, no. Ah, no, no. Oh, hey there. It's me, Chair. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs>